Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows 10 or Windows 11 error message 0xc000001 or 0xc000021a that your PC couldn't start correctly. So this could be caused by a variety of factors such as uh, corruption in the boot configuration data file as well as faulty drivers or software that's installed on the computer. So we're going to go into how to hopefully resolve this problem without too much of a hassle. Now I would suggest if you're unable to boot into Windows and get to different troubleshooting options here. So if you do perform a hard power off three times in a row, so basically holding down your power button and then letting your computer turn off and then turn it back on again, turn it off, turn it on again three times in a row, you should hopefully be able to launch these options. If not, you can use the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool and download a bootable Windows 10 DVD, CD, USB flash drive and then instead of clicking on install now so once you go through the Windows installation process instead of installing Windows you want to left click on the bottom left corner one of the first prompts and that says repair my computer that'll launch troubleshooting options that we're going to be going through in this tutorial so now that that's out of the way and we have choose an option on our screen we're going to select troubleshoot which will reset or your PC or see advanced options you want to select advanced options again so there's a few different things I would suggest trying. The first one would always be to do a system restore. So use a restore point recorder on your PC to restore Windows. So restore system files and settings. Now restore points have been created on your computer system drive to create a restore point. So if you don't have a restore point made here, that's not going to apply to you. However, I would suggest trying that first. It's usually a pretty good bet. Now if that did not work, the next thing I would do, again, going back to troubleshoot and then advance options. Then you want to left click on command prompt. So now that we are in this command prompt, you want to go and locate whatever drive Windows is installed on. So in many cases, you might be the C drive. So that's what we're going to actually select here to begin. So I'm going to type C and then a colon. So one dot top of another dot. And you want to hit enter. And then you want to type in DIR. So if you notice there's not really any files listed in here, that means that your Windows is not installed on your C drive or we're going to have to go look to our D drive instead. So no problem, you're just going to type in D. So type in a D colon, and it could be a different letter, anything between A and Z, just putting it out there. But let's just say it's D and then we're going to put one dot on top of another dot to the colon. Then you want to hit enter. Just make sure, you know, double check, make sure everything's still in here, the windows, that's what you want to make sure your drive is under. I just like checking that. And now you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should be one word attached to the forward slash. Then you want to hit enter. So we'll begin a system scan. This will take some time. It's going to verify the process here. So I am going to actually let this run here for a couple minutes. So please be patient. It shouldn't take very long though, I should admit.
So you might say Windows Research Protection cannot perform the request in operation. There's a couple different reasons you might get that, but again, I would still try running an SFC scan now. And if that did not work, I would try running a DISM. So I'd recommend typing in DISM space forward slash online forward slash cleanup minus sign image space forward slash restore health all one word to so restore health attached to the forward slash then you want to hit enter on your keyboard so again you might get an error on here you might not even if you do not I would still recommend trying it and then I would also suggest if you want to close out of here go back to troubleshoot advanced options try rolling back your computer to a previous version so if you select go back to a previous version I would suggest trying that as well and then hopefully one of these methods should work for you now again it will depend you will get some errors perhaps with some of these different things I will include some information in the description of the tutorial you guys can try just so you guys can visually see it as well as what you saw in the video and I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye